Hey, so when I meet lots of high achieving women, many of the, the things, one of the reason that they come to work with me is because they're ultra stressed. And the reason why many high achieving women are ultra stressed is because there is this belief that when I have finished my work, when I've done everything I'm meant to do, when my to-do list is complete, when I've shown up and served every person that needs me, then I get to rest. And so rest, relaxation, pleasure and joy are all seen as rewards. If you can relate, put a heart in the chat, either whether you're watching this in live, hey Crystal, or you're watching as a replay. And it may seem like a very simple insight, but when you start seeing relaxation as your starting point, as opposed to your end point, what you get to do when you've done the work, it's one of the most profound shifts in your life. So what many people don't realize is that relaxation is actually a high performance hack. When we step into relaxation, when we operate from a relaxed state, so many things happen. Number one, in terms of brain performance, our memory, our creativity, our ability to see the white picture, it skyrockets. Another thing is that in terms of your relationships, because you're working with people, you have relationships with people, when we're relaxed, we show up in a way where connection is possible. And even when there may be disagreement or we don't quite see things the same way, we're able to respond as opposed to react, right? And one of the most important things is that a stressed mind creates a stressed body. And a stressed body is not at ease. And when you're not at ease, then you're on your way to dis-ease. And let me ask you a question. If you do not have vitality, energy, and even longevity, then how in the world are you going to show up and make that difference that you want to create in the world? To make the difference you want to create in the world, it is essential that you have the gift of health and vitality, that you're living in a body that's able to operate in a sustained manner, right? So relaxation is not a nice to have. It is an absolute must have. My invitation to you is to start putting your relaxation first. Whether that's the form of waking up in the morning and instead of just rushing into your day, taking some time to yourself, 15, 20 minutes. If you're a total, total beginner, start with five or 10 and simply breathe, meditate, be with yourself. Make, a, make yourself a beautiful you know, cup of hot water, lemon and honey and sip that and just be with yourself. Just breathe as you do so. Another thing I will really invite you to do is that before you start any task, anything that's a big deal for you, to really step into a state of ease. And there are many ways you can do this, but one way you can do this is to imagine a time, imagine a view, imagine a space that you love that you feel completely at ease in. It may have nothing to do with what you're about to do, but you want to understand this. Your results are a function of your state, right? And your action. 
So the action you're going, you're taking, if you're taking it from a stress place, from a, a reactionary space, from a space where everything is hard and you're doubtful and you just don't trust, that action is, I'm not saying it wouldn't have any results, but if you really want to multiply that, you want to step into states that are uplifting and positive. So if you know that in your life, you're putting relaxation first, awesome. If you know that you're putting relaxation last and therefore never getting to relax, then I want you to schedule relaxation times in your day. It could be as soon as you wake up. It could be sometime at your lunch break. And do you, what relaxes me may not be what relaxes you. But I really want you to step into the worthiness of I get to go through life relaxed. Because when I am relaxed, I am open. When I am open, I receive. And when I receive, I'm I'm no longer blocking my blessings. I'm allowing the fruits of what I have planted come back to me. And when I do this, I am of service. Because instead of being frustrated and burnt out, I continue to show up in a way that's of service to the world. So tune into that. As a servant leader, relaxation is not selfish. It's actually the way, the path, so that you can continue to show up in a way that's of service in the world. And remember to follow your joy. Joy and frustration and stress don't go together. When we step into relaxation and we open our hearts and we're able to see the wonder of the world, that's such a beautiful, powerful space from which to create. And this vortex that I've created here in this group, I invite you to step into it, to share, to just come and operate from the space of joy. Relaxation is the path. Hey, Louisa. So type in the chat. Are you going to be focusing on your relaxation proactively as opposed to seeing it as something that happens if it happens? Try this for a week and see what happens. Love and light.